that if I'm not living close to family and the house is ready to safely stay in, should I think about moving closer to family? The answer is no, but, but you have to kind of think about it differently. So you're, well, you're, you're alone at home and you're now relying on caregivers. Who is going to be there to make sure that these caregivers actually show up and don't take advantage if you don't leave you neglected? Doesn't necessarily need to be your family member. But who is going to be wanting to do the right thing by you by being there? Would it be your neighbor? Well, neighbors come and go. What if your neighbor falls ill at the same time? Who are they going to watch out for, you or themselves? Uh, what about paid care providers, right, or paid care managers? Of course, you can go ahead and hire a paid care manager. and That person's job would be to come show up in the morning, make sure that these people show up, and come back in the evening, make sure everything is going on right. They document it. They are paid to do that. You can maybe get away with that, but that means you need a deeper pocketbook, right? You need a deeper purse. So it's not necessary that your child is the one who has to do it. But what I find interesting is that when the rubber meets the road, aging is a family affair, and more times than not, a family will respond to it as long as you can assure the family that when you have to deal with my needs, you're not going to end up becoming my unpaid caregiver. I mean, that's the angst that most of us have. Even if a child is going to become your caregiver, they can do it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, month, two months, take time off from work and, and do whatever needs to be done. But eventually playing the role of a supervisor or playing the role of a caregiver, day after day, week after week, month after month, it becomes a, a, a it, it, it become it gets you to a point where clearly sooner or later if someone's going to hit the brick wall and assisted living starts looking much better, right? So hopefully that answers your question. If you have a follow-on question, please go ahead and put that in the in the chat or in the, in the Q and A. And the rest of you, you know, this let me without mincing words say this: if you can do one thing to secure your future years. It is absolutely to make certain that you have a strong plan in place, that the day that you fall ill, the care will come to you, that you are not going to be moved to a place of care. I have done this work 22 years and I watched all my clients who have a plan live out their life. They're so much happier. The family members is so much more pleasant to deal with because they didn't have to become the caregivers and they were able to give the parents the outcome and you don't have to become white knuckled in the whole thing.